Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome everyone. Yes, uh, we're going to be starting our monthly prayer meeting, redeeming the month of April in a few minutes. So welcome, please go ahead, invite your friends, invite everyone that can benefit from the session. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for everyone on Instagram. Thank you for everyone on Facebook. As you come in, please go ahead and invite your friends. And we're just going to get into the mood of worship for the next few minutes as we welcome others to join us. Hallelujah. We give God praise. Go ahead and share. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Stand above the earth, you are exalted, unlimited God. As far as the heavens stand, stands above the earth, you are exalted, unlimited God. As far as the heavens stand, stands above the earth. Ah, you are exalted, unlimited God. You are exalted, Rabba Kasotiria. We worship you. Yes, you are exalted, our Father, our King, our Strength, our Shield, our Assurance that never fails. Hey, Kaposotiria, you are exalted, O God. You are exalted. I have started my own worship, so go ahead and start your own worship session. We're going to worship God until for another two minutes and then we're going to stand. He's exalted. Look back. Today's the 31st day in the month of March. He's exalted. Exalted in power. Exalted in glory. Exalted in majesty. Unlimited God. Marcus Soteria. You're exalted. You're exalted. You are exalted. You are exalted. Reliable. Reliable God. Marcos Soteria, nobody can see the end of your glory. The God who spans, whose greatness spans throughout the whole earth. Lord, Rabaka Soteria, Nema Shandaralaba. We worship you tonight. We stand in awe of you. You are a faithful God. The God who answers prayers. The God who speaks and brings it to pass. You are the one we have come to worship once again. You are the one we have come to exalt. Nobody compares to your power. No power compares to your power. And as far as the heavens stand above the earth, you are exalted. You are exalted in glory. You are exalted in power. You are exalted in majesty. Your ways are beyond finding out. Maka soturika baba ba soteria. Le braga dabaya katu soturia. Ole barande katayaba. Yeri mo soturia. The God who does not change. Nothing limits you. Nothing can limit you. Reke to pasataralaba. We give you glory. No. Yes, you alone. Who is worthy to be praised? Oh yes, I will call upon the Lord. Saved from my enemies. The Lord reigneth. I hear I say, blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigneth. Oh, blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The God who answers prayers. We worship you. Kandebo, Rakataba. We sing of your glory. We sing of your goodness. We sing of your power. We sing of your majesty. Lord, what we have experienced, what we have handled, what we have tasted of your faithfulness is why we come. It's why we give you praise. It's why we have come to exalt you. Mighty God, you are worthy of all our praises. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. You deserve the praise. Marco Sotori Kanda by Eleboria. Blessed be thy name. We we'll worship you. Blessed be thy name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to start 
a pre session, a prayer session. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hello, everyone. Thank you on Instagram. My name is Omolara Ishola. I'm the host of Possibilities Divine Ministries. And tonight, I'd like to welcome you to another session, a prayer session, end of the month prayer session that we uh, prepare for the new year. And indeed, God has been good to us. Um, uh, we're going to be sharing from the book of Psalms, chapter 145, verses 1 to 3. Psalms 145, verses 1 to 3. Hallelujah. He says, I will extol you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable. So I bring this psalm to worship God with careful consideration. I approach God with the words of this psalm having experienced his goodness and mercy in the month of March. For those who were here in March, at the end of February, when we're praying about March, you remember specifically that I told us that the Lord uh, laid on my heart that the month of March was going to be the month of dominion, the month of advancement, and the month of progress. I don't know how many people experienced that in their lives. If you did, then we need to bring our offering of praise, our worship, and appreciate it appreciation to acknowledge God because he's true that is why I come every month whether I am the only one whether there are two other people joining me or whatever I come because I experience God God's goodness on this altar and I welcome you to do the same when you come it is not a show there's so many shows on the internet on either Facebook or Instagram but this is a, a, a connection this is a, 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 an altar that we breathe we, we built over the years that when we come here and we connect and we see results hallelujah so I want to encourage you that you just uh, be in the mood of prayer and I know that the Holy Spirit will help us tonight. I, I want you to begin to bless the name of the Lord. I want you to begin to bless God for your March. I don't know what you experienced in March, but I experienced God's goodness in the month of March. I saw prayer points checked off and God answering, stepping into the situation. And the one that scared me most were the thoughts of my heart that the Lord answered. You know, when you don't actually consciously pray about a prayer point and the Lord brings it to pass, then you know it, it's mind blowing so therefore i want us to go into the into the place of his presence to worship him tonight father we thank you for your goodness we exalt you because you are god we bless you because you are king we thank you because there is no other god like you we thank you because you are the i am that i am you are the one who answers prayers we thank you because you are reliable we thank you because you are dependable we thank you because you are a faithful god we honor you lord we loud your praise tonight we appreciate you abba we declare that you are god we thank you for your interventions we thank you for your provisions we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your direction we thank you for your guidance we thank you for the nudge of the spirit we thank you for all that you have done thank you for prompting us thank you father god for the things that you have been, that you have given us um even even uh, uh not 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 general about even in the realm of the spirit we are grateful we thank you father god because we are here with our spouses with our children lord in good health we thank you because this is your doing and it is marvelous in our in our in our hearts in our sight our lips we offer you the fruit of our lips tonight as we bless your name today is the very last day in the month of march what a good god you are what a good god you are what a faithful god you are De dependable reliable faithful true to his word we give you glory and honor thank you everlasting father we bless your name oh god even for the for your word in the month of march we thank you for the word that you have spoken even concerning april lord accepted thanks and praises in jesus name we have given thanks um i i just need to reiterate that every year about december you know i have a period where i pray for the new year in december and usually god will always give me a theme for the new month and so i went to check my journal and what god has in store for us for the month of april is abundance of rain hallelujah abundance of rain and our text is taken from the book of isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 isaiah 55 verse 10 it says as the rain and this is the niv version as the rain and snow uh, come down from heaven and do not return to it without what rain the earth and <clears throat> making it bud and flourish so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater 
And if it goes on to verse 11, it says, so is my word that I've spoken. It will not come back to me. It will not return back unto me until it has accomplished that which I send it forth. Hallelujah. And that is the word of God for this month. So as we pray beyond now, abundance of rain. And when you begin to look at it, you need to make up your mind that Lord, as you have spoken, I hold on to your word and it will come to pass in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we're going to declare by the Spirit of God that my April drinks from the rain of heaven. My April, the month of April, the fourth month and the year 2022, I declare by the Spirit of God that you drink from the heavens. You drink from the rain of heaven. You drink from the abundance of heaven. Shall we go ahead and begin to declare it? Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because your word is infallible, immutable, and it cannot fail. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus that my month of April, every aspect of it drinks from the rain of, 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 of heaven, drinks from the abundance of rain even from heaven in the name of jesus marco sotori kataba lekeri ne makash ketoria ilema sondele braga doshke rika bababa sotoria this is my declaration that my month of april drinks from the abundance of the rain of heaven i am watered from above in the name of jesus i am watered in the work of my hands i am watered in my walk with the lord i am watered in every aspect and area of my life in the month of april thank you faithful father in jesus name we have prayed first kings chapter 18 verse 41 first kings 18 verse 41 he says then elijah said to ahab go up eat and drink for there is the sound of abundance of rain and um when i go uh when i was preparing i said what is rain i'm sure everyone knows what rain means you all we all know what rain stands for it's one of the elements that sustains the world and um when i was looking at the meaning it says rain is the primary source of most of the fresh water in the world. It plays an important role for life on earth as part of the hydrologic cycle. But when I talk about this kind of rain that God wants to rain upon us in April, you know it's beyond the hydro, hydro uh, the, the geographic rain that I'm describing here. It, it's something deeper. It's something spiritual. The coming of the rain is a call for us to wait on God and position ourselves for what he is about to do. So when we say there is abundance of rain, we are not talking about just the rainfall, the element outside. We are talking about a deep call of God onto what he is about to do. When God is calling our attention that there is going to be something new happening, that there is going to be a new season, that there is going to be flourishing and budding. If you go back to the book of Isaiah 55 verse 10 that I, I, I read from, it tells us the essence of the rain, that as the rain falls from heaven, it doesn't go, it, and it waters the earth, and it carries out a function the bible says it causes it to board and to flourish and that is the purpose of the abundance of god's reign so that we will flourish and we will board in every area of our lives and that will be evident in the name of jesus so what does rain mean what does it stand for it means life it means renewal uh, for in the part of the world where i live in 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 winter the earth becomes dry the snow comes what it what the snow does is that it it kills all the microorganisms it, it kills everything that can affect the next season the germination of of plants and fruit and um, crops so that is why uh, that's the purpose of the snow not only does it make the environment cold it makes it cold to the degree that nothing all the uh, all the microorganisms will die everything that can cause sickness and all that will die the earth will be replenished and so even so the water of rain that comes from above it, it's it's refreshing it's for sustenance it's a blessing and so as i'm as i'm seeing all of these things i want you to begin to turn it in your mind the area where you need all the areas in your life where you need the rain to fall and rain provides suitable suitable conditions for ecosystem it provides hydroelectric plant that produces electricity power supply and light so where do you need power where do you need illumination where do you need connectivity and these are the things that you need to begin to ask of God. It is important for crop irrigation, for food production, for harvest and for provision. So abundance of rain, I mean, when there is no rain, there is drought, there is dryness. You and I know that if you put anything in the soil, never mind that it's cold, if there is no rain, it will not germinate. As a matter of fact, anything that you put in the soil without rain is bound to die. But the abundance of rain brings burden it brings flourishing it brings crops to blossom absence of rain like i said brings drought it brings famine it brings hardship it leads to adverse situations death and destruction whenever there is famine there is dryness there is no life nothing green or flourishing comes up 
And as I was preparing, the Lord made me understand that there are steps to receiving abundance of rain. So when Elijah, in the book of uh, 1 Kings 18 that we read earlier, when he declared after a very long period of farming, he declared that there was going to be abundance of rain. As soon as he made that declaration, he got into a position and that is uh, my uh, first Kings 18 42. He began to pray. He began to hold on to the hand of God to make that prophecy come to pass. So when I was preparing the Bible, uh, the spirit of the Lord told me there are steps to receiving abundance of rain. One is the prophecy and the word of God has gone out that there's going to be abundance of rain in the month of April. The next step is preparation. What, how do we prepare? In the place of prayer, the exact thing you and I are doing. God has spoken his word. We want to bring it to pass. Prayer is the way we, uh, we exert the will of God on earth. Prayer is one way where we bring to pass whatever God has spoken. And the, other, uh, the third point is persistence. When you're praying, when you're praying, maybe first week, second week, there are particular areas that you're trusting God for watering. And it seems as if it's not happening. It's not time to give up. It's time to stick to it. It's time to stay in the place of prayer. The Bible, if you read the, it, uh, I would like you, I would encourage you to go back and read First Kings 18. Uh, read the whole chapter if you want. But if you want to start from 41 where uh, there's a declaration that there's abundance of rain, you'll see that there were steps involved. Elijah said that there's going to be abundance of rain and he started praying. The Bible says he put his head between his knees and he started praying. And he will send someone, go and check. And they'll say, nothing. Go and check a second time. Nothing. Go and check a third time. Until the seventh time. I believe, I believe, I believe there was just a small, something, a, a resemblance of a wave. Nothing major. It wasn't, it wasn't thundering. It wasn't raining yet. But there was hope. And so when you hold on to the word of God in this month of April, I encourage you to be persistent. And I believe in my heart that you will have proof. And the final uh, point is proof that manifests through harvest. When you, when, it, when, you, when the rain falls on the ground and it germinates, there is result. And I believe that in the month of April, we will have results to show, even for our persistence in the name of Jesus. Shall we just go ahead and bless the name of the Lord? Say, Father, thank you for abundance of rain in April. I bless you because you cannot lie. Or shall we just begin to bless the name of the Lord? Father, I bless you. I thank you for your word that you have sent concerning April in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I receive the abundance of rain you are bringing in the month of April. I hold on unto your word and I hold, I believe it, oh God, that in this month of April, there will be abundance of rain in every area, in every aspect of my life, in the name of Jesus. Lord, pour your abundance of rain upon my spiritual life in April. There will be burden and there will be be flourishing that there will be no dryness in my walk with you insight oh god understanding oh god revelation knowledge oh god with which to walk with you in the month of april oh god pour abundance of rain upon my walk with you pour abundance of rain upon my life pour abundance of rain upon every area of my life that there may be sustainers that there may be discernment that there may be knowledge that there may be understanding and increase in faith I declare by your spirit, O oh God, in this month of April, let there be abundance of rain. Let my life bring forth. Let there be germination of your word. Let there be flourishing. Let there be burden. In the name of Jesus, every area in my life that has said that to be unfruitful, receive the rain from above. Receive the rain from above. Receive the watering from above. That when I open to the word of God, in the name of Jesus, it will reveal unto me the deep secrets of God. It will provide for me understanding. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting area. And uh, thank you, Father, uh, everlasting Father. In the name of Jesus, every area of my life where I have experienced famine, Lord, send your rain in the name of Jesus. Send your rain in the name of Jesus. Send your rain in the name of Jesus. Let it rain upon my walk. Let it rain upon my walk with you. Let it rain upon the walk of my hand. Let it rain upon my business. Let it rain upon my academics. Let it rain upon my children. Let it rain upon my ministry. Let it rain upon my spouse. Let it rain upon everyone connected to this platform. Rabaka Sotoria, give us testimonies, oh God, by reason of what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Uh, just so that I can reiterate. The essence of this is for us to define the month. We have the ability through prayers to define what God is going to do in the month. That is the difference between us and those who don't know God. When you know God, there are certain things that you are privy to that you have the ability to make happen. And prayer is one of the ways that we do that. The book of Job chapter 5 verse 10, we're going to ask God to rain upon the work of our hand. He says he gives rain on the earth and sends waters on the fields. We are going to say, Father, rain upon the work of my hands in the month of April. 
breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Rain upon my business in the name of Jesus. Rip, rain upon my business. Everything, every undertaking, oh God, rain upon it in the name of Jesus. We have experienced, oh God, even we have expressed the definition and the impact of rain according to your word. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be impact in this month of April. Let there be impact of your rain in the name of Jesus. Let it rain upon walk of our hands let it rain upon our home let it rain upon our health let it rain upon everything that concerns us everyone oh god even connected to this platform that is experiencing dryness in the in the area of bringing forth children tonight let it rain in the name of jesus let it rain in the name of jesus give us rain oh god even in our land give us rain in our marriage give us rain in our business give us rain in our career give us rain in our ministry in the name of jesus lord we are asking for rain i don't know what area you're experiencing you're experiencing expecting God to rain. I want us to, I want us to begin to say, Father, rain, uh, cause it to rain upon my, upon every area of my life in the name of Jesus. Rain brings flourishing. Rain brings bl blossoming. I declare that I blossom and I flourish in all that I lay my hands upon to do in April. In the name of Jesus. Marco Soto I declare that my work attracts increase. My work attracts abundance. My work attracts recognition and reward in the name of Jesus. I will not just labor. I will not labor in vain at my place of work. In the name of Jesus, as your rain comes upon the work of my hand. Lord, it attracts increase in the name of Jesus. Increase and abundance, recognition and reward in the name of Jesus. This is my declaration. And I have what I say in the name of Jesus. Yeke sotori kababa sotoria. Leke rima shandara laba kusketoria. Endrabo seteria ndegadoshke. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to declare that it rains upon uh, upon the, that there uh, that there is life. We said earlier that rain brings life. We are going to say there is life in the work of my hands. That it's possible for you to be at a dead end job. It may be paying your salary, but it may not offer any prospect. It may it may just be okay. I just go there day and night. But when it rains upon your work, there will be different dimensions of it that you've never thought about, and that people will be asking you, "Are you able to do this?" There will be opportunities. I want us to begin to declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, concerning the work of my hands, as you cause it to rain, let there be opportunities, new opportunities, in the name of Jesus. I declare that there is life in my work. I terminate hardship, frustration over the work of my hands in the name of Jesus. Kalebo Koriya Masontele Bragadoshke Re Kataba Yeleke Sotoriane Mashinderi and Debadoshke. As I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus for the work of my hands in April, I terminate hardship hardship. I terminate frustration in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. If you ask a farmer, it's easier even to till the ground, to uproot and to do stuff when there is rain. Rain brings softness. We are going to declare that in the month of April, there will be softness. There will be ease in everything that we lay our hands upon to do in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare that as your rain comes, oh God, it will bring it will bring ease in every area of our lives. Every area where we have been frustrated, every area where we, we have experienced hardship, as your rain comes, oh God, let there be ease in the name of Jesus. Let there be ease in Jesus' name. In in Jesus name we have prayed rain connotes favor Proverbs 16 15 it says in the light of the king's face is life and his favor is like a cloud of the latter rain we're talking about rain we're talking about favor when you experience favor everything that the things that you ask for will be given unto you the ones you don't ask for will be given unto you ideas will be will just find their, their way to you People will say, have you thought about it? You will be in close proximity of things that will make you move forward. The discussions that you'll be privy to will be such that will give you ideas, new strategies. These are the things you are going to ask for. That in the month of April, our lives will experience the favor of God as the rains upon us. Shall we begin to pray? Father, let your face shine upon me and my household in the month of April. Everywhere we go to in the name of Jesus, cause your face to shine upon us in the name of Jesus. Cause your face to shine upon us, oh God, as the face of a king brings favor. Rabba in every area in every dimension of our lives sir, we will experience your favor i pray for my husband i pray for myself i pray for my children i pray for everyone connected to this platform i pray for everyone connected to my life lord that in the month of uh, april we will experience favor we will experience favor at work we will experience favor in every interaction in every encounter in the name of jesus let your countenance distill favor Upon our lives in this month in Jesus' name. Cause your countenance to distill favor. Upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Maka soto yike masuteria. In the name of Jesus. Maka soto li bragadoshke. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We're going to say, Father, make a way. Make a promo, uh, promote us. Let there be ease in the name of Jesus. Favor makes a way. 
it excuses your inadequacies it eases you it, it provides ease for your life we're going to declare we receive favor in our dealings in our interactions in our aspirations in our undertakings in this month in the name of jesus father i declare that your favor is upon my life everywhere i turn to oh god men desire to favor me men desire to help me in the name of jesus people go out of their way even to help me in the name of jesus i experience your favor in jesus name thank you faithful father in jesus name we have prayed in the month of march i had to travel i traveled somewhere and i had to make an emergency return that means i so i was anticipating that i was going to change my ticket and it was probably going to cost me maybe 150 but when i got there they told me um that the change to my ticket was going to cost me 740 dollars and i was like oh my goodness even the actual ticket didn't cost up to that and I stood there and I said, God, what do I do? $740 uh, is no chicken feed. Thank God for those who can afford that, you know, uh, with a snap of a finger. And I said, Holy Spirit. Literally, I stood at the counter and I said, Holy Spirit, what do I do? And I was just praying in tongues under my breath. And I was like, Lord, help me, guide me. Really, I don't know what to do. A customer service rep decided to, he looked at me, said, why? Uh, I said, I, ha I have to go. I was supposed, supposed to be here for a while, but you know, um, I have to change my ticket and return. He looked at me. He sat on that phone for a whole hour. You know how it is when you're on hold with customer service. He was on hold for a whole hour. And at the end of the day, he was able to adjust my ticket without paying a dime. Don't tell me that's one of those things. I have had to reach a schedule a ticket and I paid for it. And so when God allows things to work in your favor, when you experience favor, it is not only at your place of work. It could be in any interaction. It could be anywhere. Anything that will make your life experience ease is the favor of God. We are going to ask, Father, let your favor, let my life experience your favor in this month of April. Let your favor let it be distilled upon my life in everything that I do. Let it be distilled upon the life of my husband. Let it be distilled upon the lives of my children. In the name of Jesus. That every interaction, every encounter, I will experience favor. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are praying because the Bible says favor, uh, the rain connotes favor. And the book of uh, Proverbs 16, 15 that we read, it compares the, the, the light of a king's face as uh, as the latter rain we are going to say father let your favor catapult and take us beyond human effort in the month of april brethren when i was preparing for the scripture uh, well, for this prayer time i was just writing as the holy spirit was laying this upon my heart may i tell you that favor can catapult you it will change you from where you are to a higher level to a level that even you have no idea. People will say, there's something about you. I have a feeling that you can do this when you attend a job interview. Beyond what you qualify for, they will be, they will be offering you. When your business ideas, business dealings, opportunities, I want us to begin to pray. Father, in the month of April, my life will experience your favor. Beyond my imagination, beyond what I can plan, your favor will catapult me and take me beyond human effort. In the month of April, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. A few years ago, I was just, um, I was traveling and I had booked my ticket. I didn't even know what it was. And um, I got, I, I think it was Frankfurt that I was. I, I had a stopover in Frankfurt. And I thought the regular, I didn't know the difference between the lounge and whatever. And I just got somewhere and somebody said, oh, he didn't even look at my ticket. He said, oh, you, you, you want to sit in the business lounge? And they allowed me. I had traveled, I was tired, I was exhausted. In that lounge, I could stretch out. In that lounge, there was provision, there was food, I could refresh, drink, and all that. And I didn't, the man didn't look at my ticket, he didn't even allow me to speak to say whatever. And there I was. And everybody who saw me will think I had, uh, you know, maybe I had traveled business class or first class. That is what favor does. Favor will take you from your actual status and will take you beyond where you belong. I will take you among the, you know, the nobles. I will position you in a place where you will experience ease and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and promotion. We're going to pray. Father, 
It does not matter whether I'm traveling or whether I'm in-house. It does not matter whether it's just in my interaction. It does not matter in the weather, whatever it is. Let me experience another dimension of favor in the month of April. I have seen the demonstration of your power in my life so far. In the month of April, I ask for a new dimension of favor that will take me beyond my, in my dreams. That will take me beyond my imagination. This I ask for in concerning every aspect and every area of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give me testimonies oh god concerning your favor in the month of april in the lives of my children let them experience your favor in the name of jesus lord that wherever they go to the men will favor them in the mighty name of jesus the lecturers will favor them the teachers will favor them everyone who has an influence over them will favor them in the name of jesus this is our declaration concerning april thank you everlasting father in jesus name we have prayed we're going to ask God to send his rain upon our lives. Ecclesiastes 11.3. Ecclesiastes 11.3 says, If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it shall rain. When it rains upon your life, there is, there is, there is this feeling of ease, of flourishing, of blossoming, of comfort that you experience. We are going to ask, Father, the Bible says, if the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves. The Lord has spoken to us that in the month of April, there will be abundance of rain. Let it begin to empty upon our lives. I want you to begin to declare. Father, let the rain, uh, let's send your rain upon every area of my life. Every area where I'm experiencing dryness right now, let your rain fall in the name of Jesus. If you're experiencing dryness in your marriage, in the name of Jesus, you will begin to say, Father, let, let, let it begin to rain upon my home. If you're experiencing dryness in the area of your children, in the lives of your children, begin to ask for God to rain upon your, uh, the lives of your children. If your job is a dead-end job, if you need another place, Place. If you need God to move you forward, I want you to begin to pray. Father, in my in my career, in my business, in my in my in my, in, my, in everything that I lay my hands upon to do, in the lives of my children, let there be no hardship. Let their portion not be the portion of the children of this land. Let the portion of the my children not be the portion of the uh, 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 of, of the generality. But let it be special. Let them experience abundance of rain in the name of Jesus. Let there be ease in every dimension of their lives. Let there be ease in every area of their lives. In this month of April, Area. voluntarily willingly let it rain upon every area of my life let there be a rain in oh god let it rain in the name of jesus marco sotoria in the name of jesus when it rains there is an impact according to isaiah 55 verse 10 when it rains the idea is that you will blossom that the green grass will come up that things will begin there will be luster there will be ease, there will be flourishing, there will be abundance. That is the essence of the rain. We are going to rain and we're going to ask, Father, even in my life in April, let me experience it. Many years ago, I was saying to, I, I was asking myself, how would you know when God has blessed you? It starts from the little things. When you go to the grocery store and you are not speaking in tongues, that the amount on your interact will be enough. That is one way to know that there is a visitation. When you want to give and it does not affect your bills and it does not affect the, the, the area of your lives, uh, the strategic area, area areas of your life, you know that God ha has moved you forward. But when you are at the gas station, you are speaking in tongues. Lord, there is no, you know, there's some, uh, on Sunday I was listening to a man of God. He said some things have affected our psyche, poor, poor, uh, poverty, that the things that are supposed to be normal, we pray for, about them. You shouldn't be praying that, Lord, let the gas in my tank. Let it let it take me home. Except if there if you're in a difficult situation. But for you to go with your uh, with your card and be saying, Lord, help the gas. No, no, no. no. It, when there's money on the interact, you can say fill up the tank. Or you can say half tank. But when there is when there is no money, that's when you begin to pray and say, Let my half liter take me for another 50 kilometers. But when the rain of abundance falls upon your life, your bills are paid, your needs are met. You don't begin to speak in tongues to at the grocery store so that you can make your purchases. You don't begin to speak in tongues for things that are unnecessary. You pray for the things that are beyond you. We're going to pray in the month of April. Lord, let there be the impact of your abundance of rain. I declare a life-transforming impact upon my life as a result of your rain in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? Father, in the month of April, I declare the impact of your life-transforming impact 
rain upon my life every area of my life in the name of jesus lord let the rain let the rain and let the clouds empty increase let the cloud empty abundance upon my life in the month of april upon my ministry upon my home upon my career upon every aspect of my life in the name of Jesus, Marco Sotoriani Manoshke, Rege Zeketele Kekerima Sonteria. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to declare everywhere where there is complaint, everywhere where there is lack. In the name of Jesus, let it be replaced with thanksgiving in the month of April. Everywhere where I have experienced complaint, every area where I have experienced lack, as I enter into the month of April and as I experience your abundance of rain, let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Yibako Sotoriani Katoshke. In the name of Jesus. In the place of complaint, in the place of excuses, in the place of lack, let there be abundance, let there be flourishing. In the name of Jesus, Marco Sotoria, in Jesus' name we have prayed. When rain comes, it signifies blessings. When rain comes, it signifies God's visitation. We are going to pray. In the month of April, let me experience your blessing, oh God. In every dimension, in every area of my life, let me experience your blessing. Let me experience your blessing. Let it be obvious. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me experience in the name of Jesus. Your abundance, your flourishing. In the name of Jesus. Every dry land and every area of my life, receive the abundance of rain. Receive the abundance of rain. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. When it rains abundantly, it drenches. It brings so much ease. We're going to pray. Father, let the abundance of your rain drench me in April. Let the abundance of your rain drench me in the month of April. Let me experience it without any ambiguity. I declare every area where I've experienced dryness, whether in my work with you, whether in my finances, whether in my health, whether in certain area of expectations in the month of april let there be abundance of rain let there be abundance of rain such that drenches in the name of jesus abundance of your blessings oh god to terminate hardship to terminate dryness to terminate drought in the name of jesus let it rain not just a drizzle not just a drizzle but let it rain in abundance let it rain to drench let it rain to drench in the name of jesus let it rain until 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 it's soaking Mare bakatayaba, rege debo yeke sotoria, in trabo sotoria nega, yeba rokotushke, bath me, bath me, O God, soak me, drench me in the abundance of your rain, in the mighty name of Jesus. Masiketele keriande badushke, rege debo yeke suteli barakadushke, let there be a difference, O God, in the name of Jesus. Masundele bragadushke, in Jesus' name we have prayed. When you experience the drenching of the abundance of God's rain, as if, you, if you experience it in, in, the, in your walk with God, there will be a difference. People will see that difference, significant. In your marriage, there will be a difference. In the walk of your hand, there will be a difference. In your business, in your ministry, in the lives of your children, whatever area, whether there's been an expectation that has tarried for long, when the abundance of rain comes, it, it, it allows it. The Bible says when the clouds are loaded, the rain, they pour of their own accord. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask, oh God, even for the rain that drenches, the rain that drenches in the month of April, we receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12, Deuteronomy 28, 12, it says, uh, the Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heaven, the, uh, the, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. That is the word of God. Deuteronomy 28, 12, the Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, the, the, the heavens. Uh, contains the treasure of God. So it doesn't matter what you are anticipating. It doesn't matter what you are looking for. They are all enclosed in the treasures in heaven. And when God opens that treasure, there is an abundance. There is a change in situation. And I can tell you that God uses man to express his kindness. So when you are looking at God to pour out his blessings, he will use men as the extension of his hands. We are going to pray that in this month of April, everywhere I turn, let the rain of abundance of God flood my life. Every interaction, 
Let it bring about. Let it bring about the abundance of God's reign. God's reign in the name of Jesus. Open your good treasure, oh God. In this month of April, open your good treasure. Open your, your good treasures in the name of Jesus. Open the heavens upon my life. Open the heavens upon every dimension of my life. Upon the lives of my spouse and children. Upon the lives of everyone connected in faith onto this platform. Upon the, upon the heavens, upon the lives of everyone connected to me in the name of jesus i stand in the gap oh god for all the different platforms oh god for all the different lives that are connected to me and i declare that the month of april oh god will bring abundance oh god you will cause the heavens oh god even to unload oh god and to pour out oh god even your treasures your abundance and your blessings in the name of jesus as we speak in the ears of the lord oh god so you will do for us in the name of jesus Marka Soteria. in jesus name we have prayed everywhere you turn to when people are having conversations, when they're having discussions, they're likely to be talking about hardship. Things are expensive, without a doubt. When you go to the regular grocery store, or you go to Costco, or you go to the market, you see that things are quite expensive now. But may I tell you that if God has allowed you to be able to get to a grocery station and pay for your, for your, for your purchase, or go to the gas uh, station and pay for your purchase, please do not join those who complain. Everything is expensive now. Everything is expensive. Only God knows how are we going to, maybe we're going to pack our cars and we'll be walking barefooted. You better mind what you say because life and death are in the power of the tongue. When people are complaining, make sure you are not part of them because God has been good to you. And if God has been good to you, make sure you express that even in your conversations. So when people are talking about hardship, say, yeah, things are so, yes, you know, prices have gone up in every area, but I thank God. Always make sure you put, uh, you thank God. You're acknowledging the reality. However, you are thanking God who has made an exemption in your situation. You're going to thank God because uh, he's going to open his good treasure upon you in every area of your life. You're going to experience another measure of abundance in the name of Jesus. Marco Sotori Kandabale Kredegedoshke. Father, thank you because you bless all the work of our hands in April beyond uh, 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 and beyond with evidence in the name of Jesus. There will be substantial proof in the name of Jesus that I am blessed in the month of April. Wherever I am now will mark the small, the lowest place I've ever been. As you take me higher in the month of April, in the name of Jesus, every area of my life will experience, oh God, even a promotion. Every area of my life will experience progress. Every area of my life will experience, oh God, even a, an evidence of your visitation. In the name of Jesus, Marco Sotoria Nekatosketoli Karabadoshke. In the month of April, Yeri Masontoria. There will be evidence, oh God, substantial proof, oh God, that Lord, I, I, I dwell in abundance in the name of Jesus. Marco Sotoria, Reke Deboyeke Soteria, Marabadoshke Telebrogodoshke, Reke Soteria. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We join the, the league of those who lend unto nations in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 28, 12, that's what it says. He says we will not borrow, but we will lend to nations. I want you to register yourself in the company of those who, who lend unto nations in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare by your spirit that I join the league of those who lend unto nations. I join the company of the rich. I join the company of those who have abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. I leave the company, company of complainants. I leave the company of those who lack because you're, you, you are pouring upon me abundance of rain and it will manifest in abundance in Jesus name. In Jesus name we have prayed. That prayer is very, it is not discriminatory. Let me tell you, if you have ever been at the, at the, at the lowest rung of the ladder where you are barely surviving, either because of your situation part time, then you know when God relocates you that there is a difference between being poor and, ha and experiencing God's abundance. I would rather experience God's abundance. It is not fruit of the spirit to be poor. It is not fruit of the spirit to, to, be, to be praying in tongues before you have, you're able to make your grocery purchase or you're able to buy your baby's diapers. That is not spirituality. You cannot leave and say, ah, and then God made a way for me to, yes, if, you, if, you, if, if you're experiencing hardship, that is divine intervention. But in your walk with God, there has to be progression. So we're going to declare, Father, I register my name in the company and association of those who lend unto nations. Marka Soto Yileke Sotoria. In this month of April, I join the league of those who lend unto nations. I leave the company of those who beg and borrow and struggle to survive in the name of Jesus. Thank you because your word will be fulfilled in every area of my life, in every dimension of my life, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. I shall not borrow. My needs are met. My bills are paid. My debts are cancelled in the name of Jesus. Marco Sotoria, this is my declaration concerning the month of April in the mighty name of Jesus. Marco Sotoria, thank you for divine guidance and illumination for paths to strength and where to go when i was preparing this i did not um it didn't come readily to me 
the scripture to use. But if you go to the book of Ruth chapter 2, I believe either verses 1 and 2 or so, it talks about happenstance. Happenstance is when you don't even, it's more like, it's kind of like coincidence. When Ruth came with hopelessness and failure, she came to, to back with Naomi to, to, to Bethlehem. And their lives were miserable. They didn't have anything. And she said, you know, let me just go out. Perhaps I will just find somebody to, to show me favor. And she walked. And when she walked, she didn't walk into any other field. She walked into the field of Boaz. Boaz was a man of substance. He was a man of stature. And the rest is history. A positive history. In the month of April, Lord, order my steps to where I will go. There are some places you will go that will lead to failure. There are some places that you'll go that will lead to ridicule. There are some places you need to, you don't even have any business going. We are going to pray. In the month of April, as your reign of abundance falls upon my life, I will not be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Your, your presence will be upon you, surround me. Your, your, you will lead me. You will guide me. The Bible says the steps of the righteous are ordered. You will order my steps. You will order the steps of my children. In the name of Jesus, I will not walk in error. I will not walk into the wrong place at the wrong time. In the name of Jesus, Marco Sotoria, I ask for the leading of the Holy Spirit. I ask that you will guide me. In the name of Jesus, you will direct me. You will direct my path. In the mighty name of Jesus, Marco Sotoria, Le Bragadoshke. In everything that I need to do, I will not walk into error. I will not walk into trouble. In the name of Jesus, but where I need to be at the right time, at the right place, Lord, you will guide me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Um, I'm going to leave that quickly because our time is uh, is fast spent. I want us to pray for our children. We're going to ask for the reign of God upon our children. When the reign of God comes upon your children, it is evident. Deuteronomy 28, 13, it says, And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. If you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them. We are going to pray for our children. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, let your reign of abundance fall upon my children. Those who are in school, in university, in high school, in kindergarten, wherever they may be. Rabo, Kasotoria, that they will be the head and not the tail. Let your reign of abundance fall upon my children. Kali, Brogodoshki, let the rain of abundance pour upon my children in the name of Jesus. Marco Sotori Kandabayeleke Sotoria. Let your rain, O God, even of intellectual capacity, understanding, wisdom, peace, O God, godly character. Let it rain upon my children in the name of Jesus. Masate Yeleke Sotoria. Engrade Gedoshketoria. Nemakusketoria. Every one of them at the intersection of life they may be. Whether they are babies, whether they are children, whether they are toddlers, whether they are teenagers, whether they are children, whatever they may be, whether they are adolescents, whether they are young adults. Lord, we ask, O God, that you will cause it to rain upon them. Let it rain favor. Let it rain your blessings. Let it rain wholeness. Let it rain perfection. Let it rain increase. Let it rain understanding, wisdom upon them in Jesus' name. I need to turn on the light. Give me one second. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father God, because it will rain upon the lives of my children. It will rain direction, it will rain guidance, it will rain understanding, it will rain blessings in every dimension of my children's life. In the name of Jesus, it will rain wisdom. I want us to begin to ask for God's wisdom upon our children in the mighty name of Jesus, that our children will not be like the children of the world growing wild growing anyhow but that they will be led by the spirit of god that it does not matter what becomes the standard of the world that our children will be led and be taught by the spirit of god in the name of jesus in jesus name we have prayed the book of numbers chapter 14 verse 24 numbers 14 24 it says but my servant caleb because he has a different spirit in him and has followed me fully I will bring him to the land where he went, and his descendants shall inherit it. I want us to begin to pray all manners or all manner of prayers for our children, that the Lord will give unto them a different spirit, a, a, another spirit, a godly spirit, the spirit that follows God, the spirit that obeys God, not just anyhow. You'll find children. I work in a, I work in a hospital, and I am privy to seeing children, some of them coming. At age three, you can tell that this one is going to be wild. This is not negative prophecy to anybody's child, but you can see the way they are carrying on. You will see them, you know, disagreeing with their parents, disrespecting authority, doing all sorts of manner, all manner of nonsense. And they will say, ah, oh, you know, the children here, you can't correct them. Says who? 
But we're going to pray more than anything for the spirit of God upon our children. That our children will not be violent. They will not be vagabonds. They will not be children that walk contrary to the will of God. But our children will be led. They will be taught by the spirit of God. Another spirit, same that was acknowledged by God himself. It was upon Caleb. That it did not matter what the crowd was saying. It did not matter what everybody was saying. That he was different. And he followed God fully. That our children will follow God fully. In the name of Jesus. It does not matter what the law of the land says. It does not matter what has been programmed into the society. Our children will follow God fully. They will follow God in obedience. The spirit of the end time will, will, will terminate and will destroy. It will have no hold upon our children in the name of Jesus. That the spirit of, that follows God fully will be upon our children. I pray for my children in the name of Jesus. The spirit that follows God fully will be upon you in your generation. It will take away, it, it will take away every distraction. It will take away everything that leads people into error in the name of Jesus. The spirit of God will be upon my children. To guide them to lead them in jesus name lord fill my children with your spirit to be able to make the right choices to be that they will not follow the crowd to do wrong but that they will make the right choices as led by your spirit in jesus name we have prayed when you look at the children of the children uh, the story of the children of israel some of them wasted in the desert we are going to pray even so in this generation children are wasting in the desert of life we are going to pray father the same way you brought caleb to the promised land you will bring my children to the promised land that you have for them they will not be wasted in the desert of this generation they will not be wasted in the in the, in the wilderness of this generation in the name of jesus you will bring my children to their promised land in the name of jesus each one of them standing tall in what you have called them to do in excellence oh god fully fully following you fully walking after you in the name of jesus marco sotorika tabayele ketoshke in jesus name we have prayed we're talking about rain we're talking about germination blossoming and all that there is something that can destroy a harvest it is blight it is like a fungal infection if it affects the leaves it can eat it can destroy a whole tree it can destroy plantation we are going to see every blight that may attempt to take away from our harvest in the lives of our children. We are going to stand upon the authority of the word of God and we're going to destroy. Whatever it may, be, it may represent um, a blight, whatever it is that may represent a blight in this generation, character, character, uh, character, uh, traits, um, dispositions, in the mighty name of Jesus. Today we bring them, oh God, every thing that does not align with the will of God, every negative character trait that destroys destiny, mali, katopa, ceteria, whether it is anger, whether it is senselessness, whether it is whatever it may, it may be that represents a blight in the mighty name of Jesus, whether it is sickness, we have we cancel in the lives and destinies of our children. We stand upon the authority of the word of God and we say, Lord, everything that represents a blight that may want to tarnish and destroy a, a harvest over the lives of our children, Lord, we destroy. We destroy in the name of Jesus. Mashiket in the mighty name of Jesus. Maruba katabayeke sotoria. In katoleba rokotoboyedoshke. In the name of Jesus. Everything that represents a blight in their character, in their formation, in their understanding, in their disposition, in their ideology. Today we terminate in the name of Jesus. In the lives of our children. Regedeboyeke sotoria. There shall be no blight in their destinies. Which there shall be no blight in their destinies. Everything that reduces, everything that makes less than in the destinies of our children. We cancel in Jesus. Jesus name we stand upon the unfailing word of God and we establish what God has spoken concerning our children that they will be like plants in the name of Jesus the male children will be like plants they will grow grow towards God grow and flourish and the, and the female children will, will be like pillars established in the name of Jesus we pray against every blight that may want to attack our harvest in the lives of our children in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we have prayed we're going to I'm going to wrap up in in let's say two minutes 620 or if we, if if we can if you don't mind we can go till six thirty but you know I'll work with us wrapping up in two minutes. Uh, we're going to ask God that everything that takes you away from that destroys and reduces harvest through sickness, affliction, lethargy towards life, carelessness. We're going to terminate in the lives of our children, male children, female children, everything that takes away, even from, that takes away from a, a bountiful harvest. We come against them in the lives of our children. We destroy everything that destroys harvest. We destroy such in Jesus. And everything that destroys harvest, we destroy them in the lives of our children. Everything that takes away, that reduces harvest through sickness, through lethargy towards life, through affliction. 
through carelessness, we terminate them in the lives of our children. Our children will grow. They will flourish. They will blossom. The hand of the Lord will be upon them. The mark of the Lord will distinguish them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We're going to terminate every agenda of the enemy to waste the rain that God is bringing upon our children through failure. When there is rain and there is no preparation, it will just be like rain falling on the earth. But when there is when there is preparation, when the family, when the earth is prepared, it, 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 the rain will just bless it and bring increase. We are going to prepare the lives of our children. What well, every area that I need to prepare the life of my children, even to make uh, full use of the rain of God. My leka sotoria, I declare concerning the lives of my children. In the name of Jesus, you will not waste the rain of God's abundance. In the mighty name of Jesus, the rain of God's abundance upon my children's life will not be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prepare the, 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 the soil of their lives in the name of Jesus for the reign of abundance. Yes, Lord, the, the increase will come. There will be results that they have worked with God. There will be results that we work with God and their generation is working with God. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Shall we just begin to bless the name of the Lord? Shall we just begin to exalt the name of the Lord? The God who answers prayers. Let's thank God because April will be a beautiful month. It will be a month of testimonies. There will be abundance of rain. We will experience ease. It doesn't matter what has been said in the world. Our testimonies will be different. When men are talking about a casting down, by God we'll be talking about a lifting up. In the mighty name of Jesus. In our lives in April, there will be no wastage. There will be no wastage of life there'll be no wastage of resources in the name of jesus we cover ourselves with the blood of jesus we will not be victims in the hand of any any man we will not be the prey of any man in the mighty name of jesus in our children's going out and coming back in the lord will watch over them our spouses will be safe we will be safe we will not experience sorrow we will not experience untimely death in the name of jesus men will go uh, out on a limb to help us in this month of april men will go above and beyond even to favor us in this month of april thank you everlasting father we give you glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus, every womb that has experienced dryness, I, I, I release even the abundance of God's reign upon you. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. That is a divine mandate. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Everyone who has been toiling, you're toiling like an elephant and you're eating like a, like a mouse. Experience, let the heavens open up upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare that our lands are drinking oh god our lands oh god drink of the rain of heaven direct infilling direct abundance in the name of jesus everything that i see that's all being impossible and difficult thank you father god because in april they become easy they become easy they become easy in the name of jesus thank you faithful father we will return back in may in the end of april as we prepare for may and we give you praise we give you worship and adoration thank you for how you have helped us tonight to you alone be all the glory and adoration forevermore in jesus name we have prayed i want to thank god for everyone who has joined on instagram thank you god bless you and uh the replay will be posted thank you thank you my sister bless the lord oh my soul oh, bless the lord oh so <laughs> hallelujah god bless your soul god bless you everyone who has joined i appreciate you on facebook i thank you for every i thank god for everyone who has been able to join as well and the replay will be available on igtv we can always go back and pray and uh, i have no doubt in my mind that god will give us evidence he will give us testimonies he'll give us the proof god bless you have a blessed april i will see you in april by god in jesus name have a good evening bye now Thank you, Jesus. Zutrabo Shata.